Hey guys, welcome to Test Academy. My name is Pramod, and in this video, I'm going to talk about the ultimate guide to QA team responsibility and roles. And in this video, especially, we're going to talk about a very uh, what are the different roles and responsibility of a manual tester right and i'm going to talk about very interesting things guys in this uh, which are basically what is expected if you are a manual tester what you can do extra and in this uh, points i'm going to share my experiences about it like what i have done to switch from manual to automation and that you can also do here and what are your unofficial okrs they don't tell you these okrs but these are exactly are the okrs that which they expect from you and the last point which are basically what are the major challenges that you have whenever you are basically uh, performing the responsibility as a manual tester right and this is going to be a series guide and i'm going to discuss about the automation qa analyst and test architect and qa lead also in the upcoming video but in this video it's all about manual testers roles and responsibility all right so let's get started awesome guys awesome so first of all let's talk about the what is expected from you so let me tell you very straightforward right if you are a manual tester right now or even if you are doing a manual testing right and uh, so these are the point that i have basically uh, uh, put it into the mind map and trust me it will help you a lot so pay attention to that right so let me make myself little smaller so that you guys can understand or read it very well right so first of all uh, what is expected from you guys is gathering the requirement so whatever the requirement that you have for example your sprint is starting right so whatever the project that is coming uh, you can gather the requirement you uh, what is expected from you is that you will prepare a test plan you will prepare scenarios test cases around it okay and uh, if you know i have already created a extensive video around what is uh, test scenario versus test cases uh, you can go to the sd.live/3dba and you can check check out that video all right uh, so now the um, what exactly expected is that uh, you have to verify whatever the software that you have i'm specifically talking about the uh, web application as of now so you have to test your application or web or, or web application or it can be a mobile application also right by hand so you have to just try out the uh, whatever the test case that you have prepared right uh, you have to execute those test cases you have to basically report the bug right so this is actually which is expected and uh, after that uh, you whatever the testing that you have done you have to send the report to your stakeholders that's where the people are little lacking uh, what i have seen is that uh, so right now i am managing couple of people and all right so i have previously also managed it but where whoever the person who is doing the manual testing for me right sometimes they don't update their stakeholders by stakeholder basically means it can be manager or it can be their pms or devs and anyone can be right uh, who's basically handling that project so they don't update it so i will highly recommend if you are a manual tester or if you are in a state where you are performing any kind of a manual testing for a project make sure you keep a sheet or anything related to it or prepare a doc around it and share with the person or a stakeholder that this is the state of testing right now or whatever the test case that i have done these are the bugs that i have opened and this is the current state okay so make sure you do that uh you uh what you are uh, mostly doing is mostly you will be auto uh, uh, basically testing not automating basically manually testing the ui ux or web application or mobile application most of the time right and i would say it's a kind of a uh, you are just a in charge of the paperwork which basically means documentation online right you have to prepare your test plan test cases test scenarios uh, bug reporting uh, sending report to the uh, developers or uh, your stakeholders right so that's what exactly expected from you so let me give you now what are the what you can you can do extra and these are the things that i have done trust me it will help you a lot so let uh i mean just pay attention to these whatever i'm saying right so first point which i have done personally is basically help in preparing the requirements so whenever pms especially uh, pms are basically uh, preparing the requirements they basically need help right what can be the cases they have to cover or uh, it is a valid ui ux issues so whenever for example if they have added particular pop up and also what what you you think about it so you can put them uh, you you can put the perspective there so now you will ask me that okay pramod but uh, i am not included whenever they are preparing document right but i will request have some exp i mean just tell them 
uh, in the chat that you are interested where whenever you are preparing the requirement uh, you can have a sync up with them so i have done it personally uh, whenever they are preparing the requirement i told them okay can i be the part of it and so after that they start adding me and how it was helpful uh, i was able to understand the product initially be even before it was uh, coded or practically available after the uh, development also whatever the major blunder that they are doing initially right i can rectify it because i was thinking from the perspective of user point of view right so that was helpful and trust me it has helped me to accelerate my career also so that's one of the point that you can do uh second point is that uh, you can always share the video or images or the manual flows uh, to your automation team so sometimes what uh, what uh, what i have seen is that you have a manual team and you have automation team right so what you can do is that uh, to do a better communication you can prepare your Uh, test cases video as well as images or write a better description of your test cases right so that's will that uh, will be helpful to your automation team so make sure you do that you can help pm devs uh, sync ups so that's one other other thing that i have done personally so whatever the timelines that we have right so pm generally have that okay uh, let's release it in 7 days 12 days or probably to after 2 weeks right so you can help them uh, to get the timelines by dividing the task right you can take the responsibility of it i have done it personally you can act as a little uh, kind of a guide uh, a person who can guide them okay let's finish this task till now and you can take the more responsibility along with it right so that's what you can do extra to earn some respect around it right uh, another thing is that uh, you can learn coding and help in automation that is one of the thing that i have done and i'm going to give you the sec third point which is basically identifying the automation flaws uh, flaws i mean and pain in the manual testing that you are doing and automate them with the scripts so i think scripts are easy what you can do is that uh, you can start learning python and all and what you can do is that uh, you can contribute to the automation right that you can do or uh, you can help yourself by creating a sanity test suite for your o for your own purpose right whenever you have a regression that you are doing uh, multiple time you can create scripts around it right it can be different from your automation team but it will be helpful for you right take your time do some extra work guys because extra work will give you extra points in your performance so that's what i have done right so now i'm going to talk about a very 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 important point which is unofficial okrs right these are the points which basically other your manager will be judging you most of the time as a manual tester right so these are the points that i have thing which is creativity knowledge and problem solving creativity basically means uh, Uh, how attractive your documentation is how you are helping or identifying a problem in the current system and uh, adding documentation around it or self solving it right uh, you clarity about the manual test documentation like how is your clarity around it right and how creatively you are basically contributing to that team right so that's where that's where it is uh, where it is helpful knowledge basically means uh, are you a sme of that product that which is going live which basically means subject matter expert uh, means you are well versed with the project you are basically coming up with the edge cases helping pm to prepare better requirement and asking the right questions so that's where they are uh, basically uh, talking about right in the knowledge you can share the knowledge with each other right that's what unofficially they want problem solving basically means you are identifying it and you are basically solving it or helping in rca basically for example if there is a particular bug slips into the production uh, are you raising the rcas are you basically doing the root cause analysis from yourself why it was miss is the test case missing what is it and taking the full responsibility till the hot fix is released right so that's where it's are the official okay so that uh, these are quick quick little hacks that you can try out right so uh, challenges uh, i would say in the manual testing is basically of course it's a boring uh, you will do monotonous monotonous work you have to do more documentation but i think i have found the solution and trust me this video will help you a lot do watch out this uh, video which is why i qa tester and happy with their job and i have uh, added couple of solution also in the video and you can also try out over that right so that was about it i think uh, let me know in the comment if if this this is helpful uh, what is expected and what uh, what you can do extra as a manual tester and what are your roles and responsibilities right i hope this is clear for all of you and uh, i'll see you in the next video where we'll discuss more about this and this is going to be a series and uh, make sure you comment down what you think if anything i am missing please make sure you add to the list in the description or in the uh, 
comment section i'll add it to the description right thanks a lot make sure you subscribe guys if you are new and make sure you like the video all right so thanks a lot for watching i'll see you in the next video